everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bee Boutique. So I had a request from a viewer. She would like me to show you how to make a sliding barrel knot. It's kind of my thing. This one is a really great way to finish off a necklace. It doesn't have any hardware. It's just a simple knot. Come and join me and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, so all I really have today is about a meter of two millimeter leather hair. Uh, you can use any size of leather you want, any length, but I do find a meter gives me the right length and um, you can use any size. So you can use one millimeter, 1.5, two millimeter, whatever floats your boat. I'm also gonna make um, this a little bit easier by using a ruler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out about, I don't know, four, four and a half inches like that. And I'm just gonna move that out of the way. And I'm going to take that and just sort of bend it at that mark. It does not have to be exact at all. So I'm going to make what looks like a little loop like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to place it underneath going in that direction. So now it almost looks like I have three pieces of leather here. So I'm going to be working always with this most inner part one here. So I'm going to now take that from behind and I pull it around to the back. And I'm going to be working towards my right hand. So I'm gonna wrap it around once. And you can see I'm kind of holding on to it so that I don't really lose that. And there's twice, and there's three times. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that little end and I'm gonna put it down through my loop. So there's a couple ways that you can do it. You can just take it and pop it down like that, or you could come up with your pliers and grab the end like that if that makes it a little bit easier, whatever makes it easy for you. So I'm just gonna re-grab that because I lost it. Okay, now I've got hold of that knot, so I'm still holding onto this end, and now I'm gonna push and pull these little loops down. So I'm pulling on this piece, and I'm pushing and pulling on everything until I get it down where I want. So I just keep pushing and pulling. Now I'm gonna make that nice and tight because you don't want that to come apart. Now you don't want to use glue on sliding knots because it won't be able to uh, slide. So that is pretty tight. That's not going to go anywhere except it's going to move along here when I when I pull it. So you can see that that moves along nicely. So that is one knot. So now I have to repeat on the other side. So now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to double that. I'm going to take that to eight inches and I'm going to bring that around and at about the four inch mark is where I'm gonna make my little bend. I want this to sort of be even. So now I've got my little three pieces there. Just move that out of the way, make that easier. So I've got my outer, my middle, and my inner piece. So I'm gonna bring that inner piece around and I'm going to start wrapping once, twice, three times. And again, I'm working towards my right hand. Now I have to bring that little piece down. You don't want to try and bring it up through that loop. It doesn't want to work. So sometimes when you only have a little tiny piece like that, it is really hard to grab. So I find the easiest way for me is I take my pliers, I come up through the loop, grab hold of it, pop it through there, and then I can get hold of that. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push and pull until I get a nice tight knot that looks really neat and tidy. So now I've got my knots done. So what I do is I take a pair of scissors and I trim it off and I leave myself about a half an inch. And this one's almost a half an inch, but I'm just gonna kind of clean up the end. So now you can see that you can pull that so that you can have a nice long necklace or you can pull them this way so you can have a shorter necklace. So I'm just gonna show you what it would look like as a completed necklace. Okay, so I just happen to have this little geode here, and this one has an open bale, which is kind of nice, because then I can pop it on afterwards. If you don't have a bale that opens up, you want to make sure to put your pendant on first. But now you can see I've got the knots down here because I've made it a little bit shorter. So you can use those like a little bit of a design feature. And then if I decide one day that I want to wear it longer, all I do is pull them back, and you can pull them right to the very end if you want, get them nice and tightly closed there and now you can see I have I'll make that a little bit shorter there you can see I have a full long length necklace so I hope this was easy for you to understand they're really simple once you get the hang of them they're super easy to do and it's such a great way to finish off a necklace 
So give it a try. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a like, leave me a comment, and please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.